Okay, so this is the room where literally it all started 1978. Bob's grandpa, Eddie, started a small restaurant. It was basically takeout. And you see, literally, look how small this room is. It's like no bigger than like a New York apartment, seriously. And this is where else started. They, since then, they actually expanded twice, two extra additional times to house all the guests. So really, like it really started from this tiny room right here. This is the president room. There's bulletproof glass here. I feel safe eating here. Glass. Because there's a lot of people that want my head. Like on the walls, you see like there's like President Bush, the both senior and junior, General Colin Powell. So this is like where all the most famous people come. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike. It's Dan. It's Felicia. And we are excited. So excited right now. We are in Falls Church, Virginia. We got a special episode of OTGW Adventures for you because uh, we never traveled this far before. Yeah, so we <laughs> kidnapped Felicia and we drove well, to Virginia. Would be a Dude, little... I wanted to come she after hearing come. about this menu. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we didn't have to twist our arm, but we literally we're in Virginia because we are at where we think is probably the best picking duck in the country. Well, best picking country? duck in the country, in the United States. Of America. And, and I'm going to say this. Yeah. Uh, this has been on my food bucket list. That's for, right. For a year. And if you don't have a food bucket list, you need a food no, bucket list. No, you need a food bucket list. <laughs> Your list and my list are very different. You know, yeah, mine features. Mine does not include crunchy vegetables. No, well, mine features, you know, three Michelin stars, you know, restaurants in Spain. But I have to say, ever since me and Mike learned about this place, this was also on my food bucket list. I, as well. I've been talking about this nonstop because to me, there's certain things that you have to eat in life, okay? Mm. Right. Soup dumplings. Right. Thank Definitely. you, thank you, thank you. I'll give that to you. Uh, thank you very much, Soup thank you. Hot pot. Okay, uh, I'll give that one to you. you. Know, other Asian cuisines like uh, ramen or, yeah, Sichuan food, Korean barbecue. Korean, yeah. Peking duck must be on your list. Peking duck should be at the top, actually. Uh, I, don't know, I totally agree. Yeah. I would have to say a properly done, done um, Peking duck is at the top. Oh, and uh, speaking of bucket lists, uh, I just learned that in Washingtonian Magazine, uh, the great Washington bucket list, they are on here at number 36, which is, that? come on, like 36? That's a shame. Number one. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> come on, people. 36, what other 34 other things could be better, be better than, than this, this seriously, experience right, right here? Like, what is this archive in, Bar the Pentagon. Is that even a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> you read? Really? It's just a restaurant. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this should be number one. Anyway, yeah. so uh, so I'm, all I'm saying is that I'm not the only one that's putting this on a bucket list. And right. guys, I, I just want to make sure you know, you understand. Peking duck is not roast duck. Roast duck roast is duck. the stuff you see hanging in the in the glass window. We did a the, video yeah. about that. Yeah. That's not Peking or barbecue duck. duck. That's barbecue duck. Well, I think <laughs> one of the de defining features is Peking duck because of the ovens that it's cooked mm -hmm. in you'll see a, a separation between the crispy skin yeah. and, the, mm -hmm. and the perfectly done succulent meat. Right. Roast duck, there's a lot of fat right. on there. And the, and the skin, there's so, a lot of oil retained, yeah. so it's greasy. Besides Peking duck, actually, this restaurant is doing something that no other rest, Chinese restaurant no other, way, I've ever right. heard of. Mm. Right, it's actually one of the most traditional things in food, right? Growing, they, they're basically, they grow a lot of their own vegetables, mm -hmm. namely the spring onions, the leeks, the cabbage, and the regular onions. Which are right. all awesome. Which are How amazing. many times can you say you know where the ingredients are coming from, right? Right. In New York, one of the most popular things like farm to table. Well, mm. this is actually farm to table. Yep. They have their 130 some odd acre farm about, I don't know, 50 to some odd miles outside of the city. And they grow these things, um, and also hydroponically, which is very organic. It basically, it grows it with the natural well water and the fish is, um, it's gonna sound really funny. The waste of the fish actually is used to fertilize the plants. Oh, yeah. All right, our first course is up and we're so excited. We have pork and leek dumplings. Uh, and the leek Thank you. is Ooh. homegrown, yes. like Dan was talking about. In the farm. Yes. Oh, can you smell it? I can smell it from here. Okay. Oh, oh thank wow. you. And we got to mention one thing. As you guys know, a lot of Chinese restaurants, they don't actually pay attention to the service, but the service here is one of the fine, fine points of this restaurant. Oh, hot oil. Yeah. I love oh. hot oil. Sometimes Necessity I feel like if you dumplings. put too much chili on it, yeah. it just masks the, Thank you very you know, much. the natural flavors Thank you. of it. You know, I don't get a lot of team dance for food, but I feel like, Felicia, <laughs> we can I possibly... Got you. I got you. We can possibly form a team and maybe outdo Mike, because Mike is definitely leading in the food category. The pastry? Mm. Hold on, did you just say the dough as the pastry? The pastry, the the. Is that an Australian thing? Rub. You could say the skin, the dough, but the pastry, that's very the uh, French of The pastry of the dumpling, yeah. Mm. The pastry is so perfect. <laughs> this is a giant shrimp. 
is our restaurant the signature food. Look at this. How would you translate jiao yan shrimp? Uh, salt and pepper salt shrimp. And pepper salt and pepper shrimp. Yeah. Can they're I definitely say these jumbo. are the biggest yeah. ones I've ever so seen in my life? Yeah, this is a lamb chow picking style. It's from the New Zealand, baby Ooh. lamb. Very tender. Oh. It's our restaurant, secret sauce. The garlic spawn from our own farm. Are we, are we eating? Yeah. Are we, are we, are we, <laughs> you want to just look at it? I'm just <laughs> staring at it, I'm like... It's like touch Can we, can we eat it, it? really? Oh, yeah. oh, you don't even... Oh, yeah, Dan likes to... Yeah, actually, I would like to taste this before the sauce dip in. Mm. This is so awesome. The batter is really amazing, because it's like... It's it's a pretty substantial coating on it, yeah. but it's not just like overly... But it's still so yeah. crispy. Exactly, like it's got its own flavor, so it means that it's seasoned really well. Right to perfection, you can actually taste the shrimp flavor, which mm. I love. I don't like it when it's just, a, I love the texture and the flavor mm -hmm. of the shrimp. Dude, this is like beyond comprehension. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a different dish to me because usually it's just overly salty right. and the batter's really thick and heavy and there's like this tiny little shrimp in it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude! I'm gonna flip. I'm eating Dude. the rest of that dish. I just wanna say, crispy on the outside. Juicy, tender, succulent oh lamb God. on the inside. None of this gamey flavor that you don't mm. like. None. Oh Yo. I'm still I'm still on this meat. Yo. This lamb. You're the veggie expert. Try the garlic sprout. It's perfectly tender. <clears throat> That's really good. All right, guys, so here's the mise en place of the duck. So we have the cucumbers, shredded cucumbers, house-made hoisin sauce, and of course, from their farm, the spring onions. Can I just say, I, I saw the love of my life, and it's a duck. Whoa. Whoa. You see how this is not a perfect circle? Mm. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what it looks like. Okay, this means it's yeah, homemade. Yeah. Guess how many ducks they sold last year? How many? 72,889. So wow. what's that like? That's like what? 200, 200 a day? Like Two, over 200 a day. Yeah. I could watch this all day. I like how they scrape the fat off. Some places do, I think some places do and some places don't, but I definitely mm. prefer it's it. It's that like attention that. to detail, you know? Yes, it is. This is what we call knife skills in the art of Chinese dining. Right, so, so thinness is one thing, but also a sign of a good chef and a, with knife skills is that each piece is uniform mm. as well. Ah. God. Oh, I'm so oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, see what they're doing here. The oh, hoisin salad goes on the bottom. Then you get the oh, onion, the cucumber, which are essential because they really balance out uh, the duck, duck well. Oh, and they roll it And they roll it really Ooh. tight with because- the All right, on three. Ready? One, two. Why aren't you eating this? I don't know. Drive down here and eat it, because you need this in your mouth. The sauce is incredible. We didn't talk much about the sauce, but it's it's a little tangy, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. um, the texture is not overly heavy. You know, a lot of times mm. when you get the stuff from the can, mm -hmm. it's just like a glob of duck sauce. This is something that you could just like keep eating and just never get sick of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This pancake is so nice mm. because it doesn't fall apart. And it's got the perfect amount of uh, you know, balance to it that when I'm biting this, it's, it serves the purpose of the wrap as well as the purpose of complementary mm. the sauce and the veggie and the mm. duck. Best duck ever. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. a traditional Chinese dessert. You guys see all the strands Ooh. that's coming out? That's why it's called fa si. So ba, like pulling strands. And as soon as it hits the ice water, all the strands disappear. They become a crystallized candied fruit, which becomes awesome. This is how they make it so that it doesn't stick. They have two people doing yeah. this. Because you gotta be quick. Right. As soon as you falter in your speed, right. this should be an Olympic game sport right. right here. Oh, you notice it's got little sesame seeds on there. Yeah. That's really nice. Nice touch to it. It's hard oh, on the outside. Drop it, drop, pick it up and drop it. You hear that? Thank you, <laughs> look at that. Let's try this. Oh, wow, thank you. It's actually very aromatic. Mm. It's tart, it's juicy, it's sweet, it's tangy. Tangy tart, same thing. And, and, and the coating is very aromatic. My mind is blown. I love the sesame on this. And when you bite into it, obviously it's hot on the inside. It's still hot on the inside. And it's not too sweet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Love it. Beautiful. I'm not talking anymore. It's so good. Mm. <sighs> We're at a loss for words. There's still so much <laughs> I want to eat, but I have to learn to share. Yeah. You know, so a lot of people commented before, like, did your camera make it to Yeats? And usually I say no, 
because they don't need to eat. No, just kidding. They, they, they really do. do. <laughs> They're really nice people, and we 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 ob obviously share our awesome bounty with them as well. I don't know. Sometimes I don't get to eat. I after mean, you. <laughs> sometimes I feel like we I'm have like the little scraps. Hey, no, I, Mike's a sharer. We heard about this restaurant. Yeah. Um, our friend recommended it, and uh, we love picking ducks, so we went on Yelp. All the reviews were great. Yeah. Mm. And we're like, you know what? Let's go down there. We gotta try this, because that's yeah. how important finding good picking yeah. duck for us is. Yeah. Right. And uh, we really appreciate them being so hospitable mm -hmm. towards us, um, giving right. us uh, really this nice feast. insights. Of, yeah, yeah, really nice insight of their operations. History behind exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. And right. this awesome feast that this has one of my, been one of my favorite videos to film. Right. This is my favorite shoot as well, and like I said, we came down here for the picking duck. But what I left is finding finding a gem of a restaurant yeah. in the entire Chinese culinary world. Um, so guys, definitely check it out. We have all their information in the description box below. Definitely. Peking Gourmet Inn. Um, check out their Make reviews. Make sure yeah. you come. Yeah. Check out their reviews. The reviews are awesome. That's why, you know, and add ours to it as well. Right. Beautiful, beautiful place. And Absolutely. try all the dishes we got today. Those are our recommendations. Well, their recommendations to us and our recommendations to you. Right. There are many other more delicious dishes on there. So right. you mm. could bring a lot of people and try them all. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Don't wait, mm. do it. And I think they get pretty busy, so make a reservation. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure it's really hard to get a seat, so you're gonna have uh, to call it. I mean, it like 200 ducks a day, I'd make a reservation. And uh, for the but roll, guys, smells. check this out. Oh my god! Be careful, temperature hot. That's the George Bush. Favorite oh. So wow. this is really cool. This is a dish that um, it's good hot. Right. But we're also gonna take this on the roll because they said after it's cooled down, yep. it becomes something like, like a like a potato chip. Yeah, like crispy, crunchy, but basically like the perfect snack. It's yep. like better than beef jerky, best like the best thing you can ever snack yeah. on. So, so this has just been awesome. And this is just one extra. Just this is like a, this is like an encore dish. Yeah, it's got a great texture. It's tender, but it's really chewy. It's almost like beef jerky. Mm. So again, guys, that was a really happy extra credit, mm -hmm. and we're gonna try this later. In. We'll, oh, we'll put the names of all the other dishes yep. on the bottom so you can so try you it know all. what mm -hmm. we ordered, definitely. Um, so now what's gonna happen is, uh, what you don't get to see is we're gonna We're all gonna, gonna fight for it. Right. It's called systematic destruction of delicious <laughs> food. So. so we'd rather you not see what's about to happen. We should cut it about yeah. now. Again, guys, all the information for this place is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't don't forget, check out Felicia's channel. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Don't forget, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. Well, all the food, forgot about you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> Why, Why am I here? here? Why are you here Why stealing here? my duck? <laughs> you guys invited me, remember? Anyway, really glad I could be on here. All right. Out of all of them. Yeah. Well, check out her channel. Her information is in the description box below. Under all the, the duck stuff, though. How to Eat Like a Lady will be my next video. <laughs> all right, guys. Again, thanks so much for watching. See you later. later.